This is Scientific American's 60 Second Science. I'm Jason Goldman. Various animals evolved coloration that keeps them hidden. A jaguar's patterns help it slink undetected across the sun-dappled rainforest floor. The mottled pigmentation on the wings of some moths lets them rest on tree bark undisturbed. And then there are animals that can quickly change their appearance. For example, the central bearded dragon. This two-foot-long lizard lives in the more arid parts of Australia. They can change color really quickly, so just in a matter of seconds or minutes. University of Melbourne biologist Katie Smith. And they do this by um, moving pigments within specialized um, skin cells ca called chromatophores. Bearded dragons modify their colors for camouflage, or to maintain their body temperature, or to communicate with other dragons. Smith wanted to know how they meet all those needs with the same toolkit. So she and her team rounded up 12 bearded dragons and put them through a series of tests before releasing them back into the wild. They found that when the dragons want to communicate with other members of their species, they change the colors on their neck. And this is actually one of the reasons they're called bearded dragons, because they look like they have a really serious 5 o'clock shadow. <laughs> Changes to their backs were for temperature regulation. Shifting to yellow lets them cool off during extreme heat, while darker grays allow them to soak up more heat during cooler weather. And they actually save about, on average, 22 minutes a day um, at the darker colors than the lighter colors, and that's about 85 hours throughout the whole, whole year. 85 hours a year not spent out in the open and exposed to potential predators. The results were published in the Proceedings of the Royal Society B. The lizards can clearly control each part of their body separately, resulting in an efficient system. Temperature regulation involves the back, which is facing the sun. Social signaling uses the neck, easily visible to another lizard they're face off with. The researcher's next task is to see what happens when the lizards have to deal with simultaneous but conflicting coloration requirements, situations that could give a bearded dragon a close shave. Thanks for listening. For Scientific American's 60 Second Science, I'm Jason Goldman.